As Lehi got older, he taught his children. He finished with advice for his youngest, Joseph. Joseph, you have a great name. I am a descendant of Joseph who went to Egypt. God made a great covenant with Joseph, promising that among his descendants, there would be a righteous branch of Israel. And Joseph himself testified. God will raise up Moses to deliver my people out of Egypt. And God will raise up another seer who will be like Moses. He will bring forth God's words, which will convince people of the words of God that they already have. Wherefore, there will be a record of the people of Judah and a record of the people of Joseph. Together, these records will confound false doctrines, lay down contentions, and establish peace. Out of weakness, this seer will be made strong and they that seek to destroy him shall be confounded. And his name shall be Joseph, like me, and like that of his father. He will be like me, for the thing that the Lord will bring forth by his hand will bring people unto salvation. Thus prophesied Joseph. Lehi then blessed each of his children. Lehi died soon after. It wasn't long until Laman and Lemuel were complaining about Nephi again. Soon they were coming up with plans to kill him. When he pushes open the door, the weight will fall on his head. Wouldn't it be easier to just stab Nephi? Yeah, okay, let's kill him. God warned Nephi. So Nephi and those who would go with him fled. After traveling for many days, they found a new land and they built a new life. At this point, the people with Nephi became known as the Nephites, and those who stayed with Laman became known as the Lamanites. The Nephites built a temple like Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, and they kept the law of Moses. Nephi consecrated Jacob and Joseph to be priests and teachers among the people. With these changes in place, the Nephites were happy. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Don't forget that you can find more content on Instagram and Facebook. Look for me there at Lego Day Saints. Thanks for watching.